Hello Donuts, today we will be reacting to most unhinged British kids TV shows. Number three. Step inside all those who love stories. And as this video goes on, the more unhinged the kids TV shows gets a buckle up. Oh, ho, ho. we've and got Dad, Grandpa I'd gone away in my with my pocket. sister Jemima for One the weekend. Show. Jemima I was in this. a dance competition. Jemima's always dancing, oh, and I couldn't go to watch her this time because I oh, had. Wait. Kids trim that like when was this like fifteen years ago? He's in fashion now with the little the little curly mullet thing going on. All he needs is a mustache. Need some tips from me. Yep, glad you've realised that. Just I'm trying this, trying to see if it works. You know, just trying to experiment with it. It's looking dreadful at the minute. I look like a certain bloke from the nineteen forties. Not what I was going for. Ah, there's a bee! There's a bee in the kitchen! It was Great Aunt Loretta, Grandpa's sister. Anyone like, um, just if a bee's like just, just roaming around their house, anyone kind of just stay still and just hope the bee stings them just to feel something? Great Aunt Loretta cooks very odd food, like sausage with sardine sauce. Sausage with sardine sauce? What? Love! Where did you go to culinary class? Sardine sauce? Oh, love. Wouldn't want to sit next to you on the tube. Oh. Oh. And she's often like this. <gasps> or like this. This is, I know this is like terrible to watch when you're, when you're my age, but I, I used to love this show. Like the vibes are so good. Like they're just so positive And so, you know, I don't know. Like I know this woman is clearly getting, you know, tortured mentally, but it's entertaining for us. No sign of a bee Loretta. I'm the only busy bee round here. Bzzz. You? Busy? You're never busy. You're lazy, you are. But how wrong could she be? Because today was <laughs> definitely... <laughs> <laughs> this is like so relatable. I remember Christmas, like uh, my granda, bless him, uh, used to come over and also me nana and like they went together and like me granda used to mutter things under his breath but because he was deaf they used to come out so loud so like he'd, he'd say something really hurtful but me nana, me nana would yell and go, what the f*** did you just say? If she's making you go upstairs, I'll have to find a way of getting you back go small. down. Go small! Go small! shrinking gap, grandpa! Do it! <laughs> Catch me if you can! Yes. You know when yes. Grandpa shrinks? This is so... Oh, the serotonin from seeing that old man shrink and shrivel. That's a weird sentence I'll probably never say again. Oh, I used to love it when he'd put his hat on and go dead small. I used to think my granddad could do it. I don't know if he could do it. Maybe... Maybe... Maybe if he can. What would be the first thing you would do? Let us know in the comments if you had a cap that made you shrink. Where would you go? This is hilarious. What a good con. Look at the CGI here. It's fantastic. You know what, right? This is where Ant-Man learned all his stuff. Kids today, they have Ant-Man. We had Grandpa in my pocket. Where's his role in the Avengers? I'll crawl up Thanos' butthole and expand. Take my hat off in his anus. I remember these blokes and girls and whatever they are. Oh my god, the number jacks. I used to watch this every day before school with my little brother. It was for him, it wasn't for me. Honestly, me, I was in more horror stuff and uh, scary, scary men stuff, me, personally. It's my turn. Hover dice, please roll yourself. I'm sure one of the numbers was a bit of a bell end. I think four was decent. Three, I think that was a lass. I think she was all right too, but I swear like number one was a bit of like, look at me, I'm number one. All right, we get it. Oh yes, four. My favorite number, of course. I'm going to get more than four. I'm going to get five or six or seven. All right, no one likes a smart ass love. Numbers, honestly, wouldn't want them as my friend. What happens if like six and nine get together? Is that, is that like, is that past 10 p.m., past the, the watershed? have a lot of trouble with the meanies and the number taker can be especially tricky the number yes the number taker the number taker number taker, number taker. have you seen the number I swear down i used to actually like have nightmares about this bloke like this is actually like ptsd for me i don't think i'm gonna be able to sleep tonight look at him 
That is so freaky for a kid show. With his number sucker up, he's a number mucker up, but he's as mean so a number taker as can be. Christ, get, like, mate, like, get on the sunbeds or, or get yourself a like, Gran Canaria or a Benidorm or something. Christ, what's going on? You, you're literally whiter than your outfit. This man is is so freaky. Look at his face. Uh, like, a, like a cult version of Willy Wonka. That's what he's dressed like. Don't worry. I've got three menus to hide me. Oh, no. Four oh. menus. Yeah, you're knackered, mate. Right, I want to see another buddy. Oh. <gasps> Twat. Twat. This one used to piss us off. Like this guy's bragging. Like at least the 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 number taker like knows he's a bit creepy and he's just you know like getting on with it. This guy's like, <laughs> look at me. I can turn into a circle. No one cares, mate. No one. Trust me, I don't care. Do I look like I care? I I do a little bit actually. I, I I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. He's getting in my head. <laughs> 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 This is just like the minor inconvenience shape, Japer. That should be his full name. What is this? This seems like the start of like a horror film. Andy Pandy's coming <gasps> Andy Pandy, that was it! There he is, look! Oh my god, I, I, this used to be one of my favourite shows when I was like young, young. Andy Pandy. What a name, by the way. Also, this is freaky. Why did I watch this? On his swing. This is terrifying. Why did I enjoy this? I'd fall off. Now, come along, you two. Say goodbye to the fishes. Oh. I know the puppets, right? But why are there such NPC puppets? It's like on Grand Theft Auto where you try and jump over a wall. You know, you're like... But Andy Pandy's coming again soon. I don't want Andy Pandy to come again soon. Just for today, Stop waving, Andy. Andy and Teddy must oh. now go away. What's he pulling out of his pants? Time to stop play. Just for today, Andy is waving goodbye. Fucking hell, Andy's a bit of a creep, isn't he? <laughs> oh, I've got the chills. I feel like I'm watching her. 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 A tree. Just quickly, I'm gonna stop this video to say you know the drill by now. Make sure you've pressed subscribe. YouTube has been unsubscribing people from the channel, so make sure that you're still subscribed. Or if you haven't pressed it yet, make sure you do it so you never miss one of my videos. We're closing down on 50k, so if you want to be in the before 50,000 subscribers club, make sure you click it. Anyway, back to the reactions. <laughs> Oh, so many people from the last video, uh, part two of Unhinged British Kids TV shows, asked for this one, so I included it. I never watched it, but I always used to watch the intro and be petrified, so I turn it off. Hello. He's just uh, digging a grave for all the people he's caught. Oh no, the tomatoes. If you touch a bee, it can give you a nasty sting. So I'd I bet you've touched many bees, my friend. I uh, can tell that just by looking at you. Don't know why I'm making this guy out a bit weird. Oh, he's just acting. Getting too close. Oh, listen. I'm sure there's some sort of freaky house with you this. You know what that sound is? It's the house. I, I there must thought be a story so. to yeah, tell. Yeah, I thought so. Oh yeah, it's all coming back. It's all coming back. And then it just kicks. Oh. Step inside all those who love stories. Look and listen with tales to tell of fun, excitement, magic, adventure. I'm sorry, right? That's just, you know, we're adults now. We're a bit older watching this. Let's just think about this logically. You see a house with a face on that's telling you to come inside that looks like that. I'm not going anywhere near. I'm sprinting in the opposite direction. This is just totally creepy. Tears, fears, and laughter. Surprises as well. Why are you walking in? Nate, the door's opening by itself. What is this? Some sort of like Five Nights at Freddy house? What's going on? <gasps> Do you know when I was younger, I used to have Nuno toast. Where you'd put it in a toaster and it would come out with Nuno's face. 
<laughs> Look at Lala's knees. Lala, what are you doing on your knees, love? You dirty whore. It's filming day to day. Any other day you can you can bloody suck off Tinky Winky or whatever you call them, but not the day. Somebody's coming. <laughs> I bet they are. <laughs> Oh, what? Another day? Hello, Dipsy. <laughs> Hello, Lala. <laughs> Dipsy. Dipsy and Lala, what is there? Some sort of Teletubbies orgy going on? In the bloody night garden. Him. Iggle Piggle with his blanket. Oh, God. I've never seen main character syndrome in all my life. Till I came across him. Bloody Iggle Piggle. What was she called as well? I forgot her name. But these two had like a thing going on, and and, 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 and they would never admit it. He used to piss us off. Look at him, Iggle Piggle. At least let the lady get in first. Where's your manners? He was just in straight away. He was like, seat for me, seat for me blankie. What about the girl? <sighs> kind of an iconic couple, I can't lie. It's like, our generation's posh and becks. This show was like huge, wasn't it? How? How do some kids' TV shows just hit? Is it like luck? Because it's not like, they don't really speak, they just keep repeating their own name. Like, how do some shows just bang? Oh, this, this. Maca Paca. Yeah. Iconic. Iconic. He just lived in his little, sh little cave by himself. Maca Paca. No, he was sound as out him, like, nice bloke. Oh, woman. Oh, whatever he identifies as. We don't know. And last but not least, we've got the iconic Lazy Town. Oh my god, this show. Yes. Yes. By the way, who wakes up with that much energy? Like who, who, seriously, does, does anyone wake up out of bed and starts fucking doing flips and cartwheels? Stephanie is new in oh my god, Stephanie. I was five when Lazy Town came out. I used to, I used to fancy Stephanie. I remember I used to see her pink hair and go, "Wow, she was like, she was like an eagle before eagles were things." And soon she and Ziggy are friends with big, still stingy and Do you know what I've realised as well? You know this Ziggy guy. Like we did a video on the main channel on Big Brother. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it. He looks exactly like Henry out of Big Brother. Why is Lazy Town? Why is and why has no one built anything around it? Why did they stop in this circle? And where does this road go? Well, today's the day my niece Stephanie is coming to stay with me. <laughs> Look, uh, here's her picture. How... How... How are they related? I'm sorry, but... How is this this, this man made out of... Uh, what I imagine is clay? How How is he in the same bloodline as, as this human? This... I never really suspected anything, but I guess now I'm old, I'm asking questions. How did this come about? Uncle! <laughs> Somebody's stuck in a hole! Stuck in a hole? I don't get it. It's still blinking. What? Because his moustache is almost better than mine. Why is he trying to copy? Get your own style, mate. Anyway, if you would like to see me react to more unhinged British kids TV shows, click right here or watch me react to even funnier clips right here.